There's a method to the madness, guys. There's a method. Octo, sub 200. Watch them just be eating supply, though. Right before Bitcoin lift. Bitcoin's RSI is a 51. Bitcoin back down to the 48. Now let's try back up. It's going to engulf, I think. And then hopefully we see some movement. Cool, calm, collective, guys. Cold as ice. <clears throat> Remember to shut your alarm clocks off for tomorrow too because we're not, you know, market's closed. You don't use one? Today I didn't use one. I, I woke up 10 minutes before my alarm went off, luckily, because my I forgot to plug my phone in. <laughs> Oops. I literally had no, I had no idea what time it was until I came downstairs. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> Here comes Bitcoin. Watch Octo off that two. Again, for anybody who's watching this recording later on, the entry that we had talked about was at 179, 178. Um, and you guys could run that back on the live if you don't believe me. It topped out at three dollars, two ninety nine or something like that. Now we're now we're back down to the two hundred. Um, I want to see what it does if Bitcoin goes here because it looks like it's about to get a gold cross. And TRKA, just I don't know. That still seems extremely dangerous. Bitcoin RSI is a 56. Still on top of the MACD. Patience. Patience, young Jedi. If they want to try to bore us out of the market, that's fine. Let them try to bore us. If you've done your DD, then... I don't know. You should have an idea of what is going to happen next.
DXY back up to 10191. Anyone that failed to know that TRKA wouldn't keep its gains hasn't done their DD. 50 plus percent short volume. Yeah, I know. Just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor, but Neil is. So he could say stuff like that. Like. It's all about, it's all about the trading plan and executing upon like what you believe is best. Bitcoin trying. RSI on Bitcoin is a 53 and a half. NASDAQ futures are 0.65 up. Um, S&P are 0.33 up. And Dow is 0 0.02 down. Will we get the gold cross? And remember, on TRKA, every single time it's been down that I've noticed, it's been on light volume, lower than average volume. I find that is a good thing. Bitcoin. <clears throat> Let's see if Octo moves with Bitcoin here. It's on the 200 right now. So long as Bitcoin holds its gains. It feels so good putting out a video and like on FOA for instance and then have it like rip as much as it did. Man, like it feels good for the credibility. I think it was at like 120 at one point and I forget what the high is, but I mean right now it's up another 30% on the day. And yesterday it went off too. We are on a double bottom on the 200 on Octo. Trying to get over this trend line that I have on Bitcoin. RSI on Bitcoin is a 60. Well, 59 and a half. Bitcoin with the gold cross. I just feel like that rubber band is going to snap, guys. So close. A lot of stars aligning.
higher eh, pretty much higher lows here uh, in the three minute. I kind of just want to see these reactions off the next Bitcoin push. I mean, that's about it. That's going to kind of tell me how I feel about the rest of After Hours. Hello, Neil. Hey, but uh, I knew you wanted to talk, and I had a few minutes. Uh, the uh, wife has is asking my... Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, so I actually wanted to talk to you in regards to TRKA. Um, yeah. So TRKA, they are growing at an exponential pace. Um, they just had like 1,200% revenue growth this last quarter as well. That, that's right. after, that's after you know, just, you know, having another um, great quarter right before that, right? N now, I understand the, like, the... I, I understand, you know, like the whole ebb and, ebbs and flow of the market and the up and the down, and like I'm not worried about that, right? What I'm thinking about though is I'm thinking about the fact that they just had over a hundred percent of their um, their float shorted or out on loan, excuse me, right? Um, mm -hmm. Their naked short report is showing me um, high numbers, numbers that you wouldn't like, right? And then. Oh, but, yeah. Now, the price is moving, though, in ways that don't really match up, so you could obviously see the demand there, right? Now, what I'm, what I'm, you know, kind of focused on, though, is the fact that TRKA has an offer now from GNS at an undisclosed price tag, right? So, right. in theory, right, in theory, the TRKA board, kind of like Twitter, right, either has to make their share price worth that much or they have to accept the tender offer because they have a fiduciary duty or they have to field other offers, right? Um, the, or there's one other thing. What's that? All right. If they believe and can show that the company's value will increase to an extent that it far exceeds the offer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so well, yeah, that's what I was saying. So, like, um, that that was my first point was like the like the TRKA board can say no, but then they would have to justify the share price, right? Right. So yeah, all right. Well, so I mean, not not the current share price, but the, the offered the the fu yeah, but the, that the future of the company is as such that it will provide a greater value to the shareholders in the future. Okay. Um, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so that's going to be kind of what the basis of our conversation is going to be like on uh, Friday with that space. Again, that's with Barking Spider um, at 10 yeah. Eastern to... Uh, to, to whenever. I mean, it's scheduled 10 to 12, but I mean, it, if if I'm still up, if everybody's still up to talking, who knows how long it'll go. Um, but I hope I'll to see you guys there. all. I'll definitely be there for that one. I, I, I appreciate that, Neil, because we're, we're definitely going to need your feedback. And I kind of want to, you know, maybe like, and I, I'm sure I'm not going to be the only one, but other people may also ask you what, you know, on an institutional level, what they might be thinking. Um... If, if there's, you know, no fundamental lapse and, you know, with these offers or with that offer out, you know what I mean? So we might have some questions for you, okay? I'll try and answer them the best I can. <laughs> the, uh, 
<laughs> you know, there are things we don't know. I, I hear that, man. But, uh, but there is one thing, too, that we, and, you know, I'm talking uh, the internal group of the mafia, uh, you know, the major players there, uh, need to sit down and discuss and identif start identifying these companies, you know, possibly like Scent, mm -hmm. because they have these things that can go outside the military, can be used elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And what one of the things that they are doing is, is you know, they may be plating the new uh, uh, version of the uh, uh, level four stuff for the soldiers all the way up to uh, the Abrams or the new Abrams tanks. So they just uh, um, they just got their armor facility up and running, um, and that's extremely interesting to me. But that's a conversation for a different point. Um, I'm actually going to get off here. Um, okay. And but, no, but, but just real quickly, my my point is we need to identify companies we need to invest in early because once all this Biden bullshit goes away, uh -huh. uh, these these things and the market comes back, these companies are going to, you know, it's like the guy who said, uh, I bought uh, 100 shares of Walmart at IPO, and I retired at 30-something years old uh, because it was worth $9 million. Uh, those are the sorts of things that uh, the companies we need to start identifying because this down market right here is providing the best opportunity in the world to make a lot of money later on. I agree. And also on top of that, um, I do want to go ahead and, you know, also mention the fact that, you know, we had talked about this being a great environment to make acquisitions to. Um, so, but, but yeah, let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this up. I've been on, you know, all day. Okay. Um, but yes, I, please, I, please I come check I out the space. Oh, oh no, I'm so happy you did because the, it, it's going to, it's, it caps everything off and, you know, um, I was able to go ahead and just, you know, obviously reiterate the space um, tomorrow at 10. Um, I think it's very important to, like, see what type of community we have with TRKA because it's been, you know, so widely talked about and it has the catalyst that it does. So um, getting everybody together, you know, and hearing what each other has to say, I think is going to be helpful. That's all. All right. Hey, man, you have a good one, and I guess we will talk tomorrow uh, Tomorrow evening. Try not to have too much fun now. All right, later, Neil.